Oh, look at my stats. See how professional I am. <laughs> Back again, and who do we have as our guest, Nadia? This is, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name again. Oh. So, Sherry Dudas from Wh the Honeybrook Organic Farm. Where's Lane, though? Where's our other... Yeah, dealer? Lane, is she... I, I took her seat. I'm, I'm really, like I said, I'm a spotlight hog. We're we having so a diva thing coming uh, I mean, yeah, between I'm, you two? Yeah, I'm such a diva. <laughs> He wishes. It's like he's this thing of cat fights. I, I think it's like a, some kind of sexual like fantasy of yours. Like he just keeps. He, he has, like, he he right has the, the mayor. Now. The mayor, you know, is a female. It's a very dignified, you know, woman. And he's like asking her if she like got in a cat fight with like a neighboring mayor. I'm just like, what is this? I what think you hit it answer? right. Uh, <laughs> she said. Well, she said tactfully. Maybe they've had their issues. She didn't say that in so many words. Yeah. But you know, they've had their conversations through the moment. She's very tactful and diplomatic. <laughs> Unlike him. So. I don't have to be. I'm not running for mayor. I'm not mayor. <laughs> Even though she said one time that I should be mayor, then she denied ever saying that. So I could help you out. You have the largest cooperative honeybee fa honey farm in the country? It's actually oh. um, the largest community-supported agriculture farm. And basically oh, what wow. um, CSA farms are, are um, well, it's a marketing concept where uh, the consumer pays in advance for their share of the produce that you grow on the farm. And in this way, we get their money up front, mm -hmm. which is coming in at this time so of it's year. Guaranteed. When we're, it's guaranteed. And in exchange for uh, that, that upfront um, cash deposit with us, they get their uh, share of the harvest throughout our growing season, which is 24 weeks. And so they're sharing some of the risk of farming with us, which is really nice. So if we have not such a great tomato year, then they're understanding. Well, that's part of the deal. Well, you get paid no matter right. what. I like that that's business right. model. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Do they come and pluck the tomatoes themselves, though? They can. We do have pick your own crops, and some of those crops that's are That's like tomatoes. too earthy for me, though. <laughs> 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 you don't want to get your, you get your manicured nails all dirty. No, it's not that. Just under the sun and picking stuff. Oh, and I know. Like oh, it's oh, chain oh gang. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're getting. Well, you, you, know, it, you know, you don't, you don't need the tan or anything, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was black, I was told once. Were you? No, I'm lying. Okay, anyway. I'm <laughs> You're interrupting her. Let her <laughs> Sorry. No, I was just going to say that we're getting ready she to open up She puts the G our in the garden state. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I didn't say, I didn't say G spot like you thought <laughs> it was. <laughs> because, you know, because of her, people will not laugh at our license plates. Yeah, but because right. oh, right, you have staying right. power, though. Unfortunately, all these farmers just, you know, paid, got so much money for their land. I couldn't, couldn't find anyone to run the farm. The kids don't want to do it. You've stayed for how long? Uh, well, my husband has been farming at uh, the first farm that he started at for 18 years, okay. and he finally saved up enough money to buy the first farm that was preserved in the Farmland Preservation Program. And so you were able to buy it, though? Yeah, we were able to buy 100% of the money that we used, uh, other than a partial part that was a mortgage, was from uh, agricultural production, which is really kind of rare in New Jersey. This is something Sadly. we don't really talk about. Sadly. But yeah. Our heritage is going. It's, it, that's absolutely true. Well, you know, I will say one thing. I mean, there's another reason besides, I mean, I personally love organic food. I think I talked to you about that before, um, you know, we were talking on, on air. But I just started reading a book called The Omnivore's Dilemma. Right. And, um, you know, people have been telling me this for a while. I've actually changed the way I've e eaten for the past three years. And so I just, I, I really, I mean, a lot of these farming techniques you're telling me about and the organic sustainability and all that, I mean, it's really interesting to me now because to me you're like sort of a living example of, um, sort of going the, to counter what's really happening in the national level. So, I mean, what are the challenges you see in, um, you know, trying to make a profit, trying to keep things sustainable and going on? I just wanted to see what your face was amongst all the national farming well, methods. Well, the, the beautiful thing Challenge about community-supported agriculture is that um, you're really out of that whole agribusiness model. Mm -hmm. you're, you're bringing your product directly to the consumer and you're removing the middleman. So all that money that we're saving on marketing and whatnot, we're, we're actually able to bring a high quality, affordable mm -hmm. product to our members. And in terms she of... She doesn't have a tan. She doesn't oh have yeah, not not yet. I'm oh, really good no, at putting the putting the more than you, so I wouldn't be talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Anyway, she's turning no, pink really, as we speak. <laughs> we're really good at wearing sun protection at the farm. Gotcha. Yeah, you big, have to. Big yes. Big hat and yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, we also, in terms of getting out of that agri mm -hmm. business loop, um, we do things like using. Um, 
local sources mm -hmm. of compost ingredients, for instance. Our uh, municipality brings uh, leaves mm -hmm. that they collect in the fall to our farm. We spend the winter composting okay. it, and that's our fertilizer source, Gee. so we don't have to go to I don't like any that efficiency thing. Yeah, I mean, I and I we hate. save the town money. See, I mean, so, everybody's... You know, it's a win, 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 win. Trade, and, you know, because, like, that's sort of like the typical fertilizer that they use, and, like, sort of like this um, synthetic topsoil and things like that. So you avoid that, because when it comes to organic farming, it seems like... It, there is. You, you need to know a lot. It should oh be, it yeah. Shouldn't be, like, yeah. It should be more changes. affordable. It shouldn't get this rap. It's expensive to be. Well, and that's another great thing about CSA because... Um, you just happen to work for them. You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's like great. Job. That's important. Yeah, exactly. Well, we I think we I'm actually great. So it's okay. <laughs> We do um, a, se a secret shopper program where we actually uh, bring a list of what we're giving out in our market and we go to uh, a local big box health food store and compare the prices of what we're giving out in the market to what their retail prices mm -hmm. are. And we have found Hollow the last time... Whole Foods? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to be tactful. No, don't be tactful. But, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> are they a corporate ripoff really? Are they masquerading as something giving and altruistic? Well, all I can say is um, what I hear from other farmers who um, have sold to them in the past, and not necessarily the one here in New Jersey, but we have friends um, throughout the East Coast that sell to Whole Foods, and, and sometimes they're a little rough on their farmers, I have to say. They're trying to get the best product at the lowest price so, right. you know, they can... You know, pass but on they don't have this kind of like work together, and we're not going to squeeze every penny. They don't have that like, kind of more like we're in this together type. Deal. Yeah, right. Where I think that um, definitely some of the local uh, health food stores have, you know, in in Princeton, for instance, the whole Earth Center whole has Earth's developed been there a long the, the they've developed the um, market for organic. They were doing it 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and um, I, I've been in there. Many of the people who work there, I don't think they've ever been to a football game in their life. <laughs> yeah, I think you're I, right. I or a Republican convention. Or Republican. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's their problem, right? Anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, you know, I got freaked out. You know, I, I don't, I'm not big in corporate conspiracies, but it's true. America is disgusting in the sense, one, the corporate uh, money is tilted towards the big agribusinesses, the meat, the cows. It costs so much money to, to raise beef. It does kind of destroy the environment. And Americans are idiots. Even though the commercials are overpowering, Americans are idiots. You hear that, America? You are? They're <laughs> idiots. They're poisoning themselves what they're eating. We, we are poisoning ourselves, and it's being led by the government because they subsidize all these businesses, like fast food. And then the parents aren't around to stop their kids. That's why you right. are on the forefront of actually something sane. Right, and um, one of the great things about having a local farm in this community is um, when people bring their children out to the mm -hmm. farm and they can actually see... You won't see forget that, Theater. No, I, if you think about your own childhood yeah, yeah, memories... Like Turn you in orchards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you remember, in especially Pennington. if you're... Um, if you're um, with family, like grandparents, or, mm -hmm. or if you're, um, uh, uh, if you come from a family that cans tomatoes or whatever, like as we an adult, when you stuff, think right? about, mm -hmm. you know, those happy childhood memories, often they're, they uh, revolve around uh, nature or food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not being in some greasy Big Mac um, restaurant. You know? Exactly. Yeah. But you know, like my, my parents came from Bangladesh, so I mean, you know, we in the whole immigrant experience. Did they have food though in Bangladesh? They did, but they had oh. a local, they had a lot of, well, sometimes, but they had <laughs> a lot of, but they had um, a lot of, you know, in food in other countries, especially, it was very much natural. I mean, I think my parents came to this country and were just Shock. Even now, my mom, you know, she won't eat like half the stuff. She hates eating at restaurants, and yeah, it's I, don't I always laughed at her. You know, yeah, be like, "Wow, your mom, you're just being weird." Because you know, I want, I was fit in. I'm just like, "Why is she weird?" And now you see that. Well, no, she had a point. You know. Yeah, I'm on my soapbox. I'm like, like the French. I'm not like a fascist about food. But I see people waiting in line to go to those fun food drinkery place, Applebee's. Wh oh, what, right. what does it say about our taste? It's basically glorified fast food. Right. And, and, it's and they're waiting in line. And they're waiting in line right. to get in here like it's something special. Right. They're idiots. America, say it again. Americans can be idiots. America, you are an idiot. There's a lot of idiots out there. <laughs> Who the hell would wait in line when, when they could go to your place? Well, this is part of the problem with, I think, the natural food, blah 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 whatever you want to call it, movement, mm -hmm. that um, organic has now come to, has mm -hmm. been, um, I guess, equated with um, elitism. expensive and elitism. Yeah. So we have found at farm markets that we do that even when our produce is priced at the same price as a conventional farmer across the aisle from us, we can see people reading our banner, Honeybrook Organic Farm, and they it's won't even look at the prices. It's, yeah, it's going to be and unique and expensive. Right, right. So um, 
We're, right now, we're uh, talking to Isles uh, about bringing some of our produce down to Trenton. Isles uh, is a, a nonprofit that's uh, working you know that in You're Trenton. Very oh, is that, no. that go with organic food? Or? Uh, well, part of their mission okay. is, to, um, is to do urban gardening. And, and yeah, because Trenton, uh, Trenton is a desert of, of no produce. That, that's it's a true. Desert when yeah, it even like the Trenton Farmer's Market, it's not actually in Trenton. It's a lot in of people Lawrenceville. Don't know that. Right, it's right. So I know. See, I, I'm from here. I'm from the state <laughs> here. <laughs> You're smarter than the average bear when it comes to produce. Thank you, Jersey. average bear. Thank you. <laughs> what do you do with that honey? Talk about bear. You, you grow honey too. What, what's killing the bees? I think a lot of people are oh still boy. debating that. But you know, on our farm, we don't have a problem with bees. Oh. Because it, we used to think it was because Pesticide? we were organic oh. um, that we didn't have a problem. Oh, but didn't have researchers problem. from uh, Princeton and Rutgers have been out to our farm, and they think it's because we keep the hedgerows still um, in wooded acreage and whatnot. So we have nati native pollinators. So we have beehives too, um, and they did have some loss. They're not really sure why, mm -hmm. but it didn't affect our crops because they were still being pollinated by natural or native bees and flies and yeah I mean a lot of like they say that it's like sort of loss of habitat and like the over 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 um yeah, the warming, like, sort Europe of is losing all day I read yeah the and you know right. actually I, was, I, was, I wanted to ask you a side question uh what do you, I got this awesome awesome can like jar of honey in my house best honey I ever had and it's from the pine barrens I wonder right. if that was from your your farm or not no <laughs> but I I'm familiar with that farm and and they are known for their honey the honey yeah. was amazing you should have that it's uh, honey, I need it. Jersey honey. It's I'm from old. Pine I'm old, and I need no, it. No, it's because you yeah. like Jersey. Oh, oh yeah. You're supporting Jersey. You're like this Rutgers. Yogi Bear of Jersey. Jersey, yeah. River, right? Jersey, so. Jersey Reach, Global Reach. What are they exactly, say? But Rutgers, so. Jersey Roots, Global well, Reach. I mean, well, when if you stop yakking, I actually want to ask you a question too. Okay. Um, well, honey, uh, aphrodisiac. Yeah. Well, that. Oh. Yeah. That I he always goes back there, to but you. Just don't, just don't <laughs> okay. But uh, but actually, I want to ask you. Uh, you know, now the organic, like you said, the organic, the health market, it is still it is booming. Actually, mm, I mean, yeah. you know, it's a sort of culture that's coming out. It is in the mainstream, and people are looking for locally organic grown things. Um, but you, the USDA itself does label things organic, and I'm sure you've read that the controversy that things labeled organic are oh, no, always so salmonella yeah. right. and things like that. And the Reagan, um, the, Reagan the Bush administration Bush yeah. lowered the standard for what organic Yeah, so I mean, now it's, I feel like it, it is very tricky. So even me, as personally, as someone who wants this, as a consumer, I am a consumer who's interested in these things, and you're a producer, I'm sort of wondering, uh, how do you even differentiate, and how do we know that, oh, your farm is sort of the real deal? Uh, yeah, right. no, that is a really good question, because... Um, I, l my husband and I still feel that certified organic is important because it really is letting the consumer know that an independent oh, third party has too. been Sorry. to the farm to make sure that you're actually using organic practices. So I would say if you're a New Jersey consumer, if you want to find out um, who to go to, who's certified organic, who's using the best practices and being inspected every year, go to the website NOFA. New Jersey, or no, uh, nofanj.org. Is that NOFA? It is. Okay. N -O -F -A -N -J. Well, I want to thank you. Can you go get Miss Liberty to come on? I she, certainly You're going to be a hard act to follow, but uh, she thank has you. done a lot of things. Thank you. Again, check out your farm. The name of it again is? It's Honeybrook Organic Farm. <laughs> Got you. Honeybrook, <laughs> outside Pennington, New thank Jersey. You. Thank you. And we love her, and we love her honey. I'm stealing the mayor's water. Cool. I, I need some too. And let's get Miss Liberty. I'm excited about Miss Liberty. Miss Liberty is good at almost everything. You mentioned that she you. Did she belly dance with me? Did you see me? I went on there and belly dance. No, I was. I was actually checking my email. Oh. Something more important. Um, this shows you how cool he is. Instead of checking out women dancing, he checks out his email. Th those those people aren't going to beat me. I didn't hear my comments about blood. No. Cool. No. Cool. I was worried. I was more worried I didn't get my ass kicked. That's okay. I'm sure you I mean, listen, you look like someone who really take care of yourself. Thank so. yeah. You, you know it. No one is saying anything yeah, to. Uh, well, w I know we're supposed to get Miss Liberty on. Miss Liberty, La Lane's lost. Is it like a black hole? Okay, is it like a black hole though? Like Lane falling through and Miss Liberty. I don't Liberty? know. Maybe it's like maybe it's like a slasher flick. Like one by one, and the within the thirty hours, each one of us is going to be dead. I'm leaving at 12 and coming back. I'm not woman enough, man enough to That'd stay for That'd be crazy, years. right? We should do that. You're staying for 30 hours, though, aren't you? Unless I die. <laughs> she smiles. You're sick. No, but th I mean... Unless I die. Because they're like... They're, they might kill me because I'm like, you know, a minority. What if this minority thing... No, because you know, in my horror movies, they usually kill like the, you know, the black person first. Oh, that's thing. true. That's very true. The and then the comedian... Yeah, the, the but the thing is, like, I'm not slutty, so I might live. Or at least the captain hopes you. Yeah, exactly. You hope I am. You have this uh, weird assumptions. I have no assumptions at all. I'm hard. Oh, no. uh, we have a problem with the headset phone here. I demand it be fixed. We paid a lot of money to do this show, oh and, yeah. we, and we need, I think, the best. 
I have no idea how much money we paid. I'm just here for the food. I'm just looking at myself in the camera right now. Yeah, you do look good. I'm not as fat on camera as I thought I would. You don't. I guess the girls, women are more uptight, though, I guess, than guys. Yeah, well, I don't know. Just... Yeah, my nose it's like, is it's like society makes us feel this way. Yeah, my nose is... Yeah, my nose looks like the Bering Strait. I almost looks like big. The Bering Strait? Yeah, it's like connecting. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not Miss Liberty. You want to come on? Wombat? <laughs> Talent? No, oh. Miss Liberty is supposed to be on, yeah. and we're, 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 we have e empty space here. Oh. You can come on and talk about your rock music. Okay, sure. Cool. We have, uh, what's your name again? You're from Young. No, Young. 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 Man, I wanted to French kiss you, and I'm not even gay, because you were rocking. I wow. could dig it. That's I could dig it. I've never had a compliment like that. Well, that I, I'm giving it to you. No, man, you know, you got, I, I like, can we use that? Yes. The power car cards, the plotting, the whole thing. And you had, and you had your own lyrics with a sense of humor. I, I dug it. I was, you had Thank your you rock thing much. going. He's living vicariously through you. I am. Yeah, well. I mean, anybody. Oh, here she comes. You can, you I'm can living stay, vicariously you can through myself. You can myself. stay on. We have, okay. we have Mr. Wombat on, too, because oh, you can stay on. You want to pay her here, though? Yeah, we've got my... What do you want uh, no, it didn't make any difference. Yeah, 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 she can sit. Yeah, get her Why don't you talk to Miss Liberty? You're a rock star. There you go. It works. This is live, live. Yeah, he's going to be talking to you, too. Okay. You guys are matching. Look, the U.S. flag. Yeah. The US I US like US this patriotism. Oh this is uh, John Ogden. He's my driver. He plays backup guitar for oh, cool. cool. And look at the tie. Usually he wears a picture of me. ESPN. He usually wears a photo of me on his tie and a T-shirt, mm -hmm. but he doesn't mm -hmm. have one up. today. Here we go. We got a picture of that tie. There's Liberty Lady. He usually wears a T-shirt with my picture on it. Thanks, John. John's backup guitar, and he's great. I always wear a T-shirt with my picture yeah, on it. Yeah, you played for me. God bless America. You sounded better than I did. What do you think? <laughs> You're a stage performer. You, 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 you dominate the John, stage. You, you master it. What do you think of her presence? Her yeah, presence is... Um, looks different. Yeah. Her presence you precedes her, I um, think. Yeah. Oh, I like her presence. You know, like you don't miss this. You know, when it walks in the room or drives down the street, they know it, I'm here. Walks out yeah. on stage. It's he just invited Dang, me to man. one of his events. This is my favorite sign. And I love Princeton TV 32. Oh, that's yeah. my favorite. But see, this re I can tell you what I do by a few things. You don't okay. mind, right? Because then no, I don't no. forget. Oh, you're the guest. Go ahead. Well, I'm having a wonderful time. You're all lovely here. You really are. I was mayor, and they nicknamed me, nicknamed me Celebrity Deputy Mayor. Of what? Of my town. Oh, uh, I was deputy mayor, Tom's but they River? stuck. Yeah, they stuck celebrity in front of it. They're mafia in Tom's River. It's like the oh, I don't know. You're I'm the mayor of Tom's River. No, no, I was deputy mm. mayor. Deputy mayor. Oh, yeah, okay. and they called me the celebrity. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Anyway, this is the New York Times you had asked me about. Oh, wow. The, there she is. The oh, proofs and the and it was that big, and that's they had the nerve to put this in when I was 20 years. Uh, I was oh 20 years God. old there. Oh, wow, look at her. Yeah, that was then. She's still hot. Look at her now. Come on. But this is recent, and that was 20 years. How many times have you been married? Oh, no, please. Five? Four? <laughs> I'm not saying. No, no more. We're with a rock star here. We're used to wildlife stuff. Did you want to French kiss her, too, when she was on <laughs> Bungie? Oh, oh, you're funny. I'm just curious. Not really. She did sing off key, but then she admitted she wasn't like these But how about the middle part? Did I get better as we went along, though? A little bit? That's a stretch, but yeah. A little <laughs> bit better? <laughs> well, this was my first gig singing, Ooh, except Take Me Out to the Ball but Game. How do you get on? What are you famous but for? Besides well, I don't know. I'm an honoree of the National Football League Players Association. Mm -hmm. That I'm very proud of. Do and you I'm play center? And now, no. and I'm the only female they ever honored. And oh I am wow! You're crazy. And we talked about a billboard in Times Square. This is the actual billboard in Times Square, and it goes around, and it's electronic. How does she get ESPN? We're, we're losers. May, isn't no, but isn't that fun? Yeah, yeah, she she teaches you to aim higher. Yes. <laughs> and I was Miss what Celebrity kind of USA. Have you had? What's the you know, what's the highest uh, fame? Fame stage moment or crowd. <sighs> I was in Los Angeles when Kirk Gibson hit his home run. Oh, you were in the field. Ooh, I kissed I him that. on the field. Kirk? Yeah. You were on the field? You one of those people like, oh, oh you're not that kissing bandit, are you? Right? We'll go into something else. But I know. Are you? you? <laughs> well, maybe. I remember you. <laughs> oh, is it really? Well, I do kissing recent now, too. Oh. So I do some recent uh, kissing now as well. That was a long time ago. But Did you have wait, fun there? And you get arrested? Oh, man. No, no, that's all fake. Oh. But anyway, the Jersey Journal, I was on the cover of that as well. Yeah, I was queen of the. Uh, Parade in Jersey City for St. Patrick's Day. I, I don't so know. Jealous. I'm just lucky. No, you don't. And the White House, you asked if I was a yeah. guest. This isn't that much, but it's all I had that I brought with me. Wow. We had to wear press tags. That's with the Clintons? 
Yeah, so Clinton. Oh, he's terrific. I like Hillary, you? too. Didn't hit on you. The Bill Clinton hit well, on Well, I was with two bodyguards, oh, so no. Okay. And this was in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I was queen of the Mummer's Day Parade. So year. why are you coming down, humbling yourself to come to our, our small station? Oh, I love this. I love Princeton. It's so classy. <gasps> it's cla classy. Yeah. Classy. Classy. Lassie's Aren't here. I funny? And I'm sorry if this smells. I had to use Goo Gone to get the tape off Don't because I taped that. this on the cars for all the parades, all mm -hmm. these signs, even Dino more Dino so. Mike Daytona. Yeah, I was wow. Miss, uh, I was on the Speed Channel, and I was Miss Daytona if I had yeah, you know who that is? That's Sumner Redstone. I covered his picture up, his face up, but he's on he's here. He's still right? alive, isn't he? he yes, be, what, and 85? He, he's 85, and he is related to me, and that is written You're about there. You're related to Sumner Redstone? Yes, yes. Who, what, he married law? my niece. Oh, my God. Paula gosh. Fortunato. Good. I'm Sandra Fortunato. Very, right. what a fortune. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yes. Are you going to, like, The wedding was niece? great. I had great, where's Sylvester? Yeah. What That's does she say about Sum Sumner? Does he, does he need, like, diapers? Depend or anything? Well, he has problems, I guess. He's older now, but mm -hmm. she loves him. She How old is she? Great. She's young. 21. 40. <laughs> mm, trophy wife? Anyway. Um. Hey, whatever. And this is Star Magazine with actor Bill Murray. He's yes. terrific, by the mm -hmm. way, Bill Murray. Wonderful human being. Manic. Are you going back to the Belmont Stakes this year? Well, I'm booked for Phil with Phil Sims and LT on the same day, so I have to toss a coin. Mm -hmm. ah. That'll cost, toss a coin on. Anyway, you asked about the letter from President Obama. There's the email thanking me for being Miss Liberty. And oh, my God. That made right. me feel really good, considering Bush I? didn't send me anything. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Phony. you should be happy about that. Phony. Yeah, he didn't send me a thing. When he was doing know. coke and drinking, he would have. Oh, I don't know. I don't he was too busy bombing the shit. <laughs> yeah. Miss World Series 1983. You and like I was baseball? featured on the World Series. Uh, yes. yes. Like wait, baseball. wait, wait. Time out. You went to the World Series one? Well, I was Queen. I was Miss World Series, 1983. No, was that, was that the Phillies? Phillies? The Phillies, you know it. Well, you're good. Yeah. In the Tug Boston. McGraw. Yes, Tug is Tug. Pete Rose. Let me Pete tell Rose. you about Tug McGraw because this is funny. If you're the looking for Tug funny, McGraw. I said, Tug, do you remember me? Because I hadn't seen Tug in a long time, and I saw him right before he passed away. He says, Of course I remember you. I says, But Tug, I'm an oldie but goodie. And he said, I only see the goodies, and I'll never forget that. Right, John? <laughs> John was with me when he said that. What a nice man. That's and here's Sly. He's my buddy. Was he wearing platform shoes? I don't remember. Uh, I don't so remember what I was nice. wearing. You must have some dirt on some celebrities. Oh, but you know, she has, it seems like she's got, she seems like, she like she has a good vibe, though. I don't feel like you're going to, like, you know, no. spill secrets here. No, no, I'm not like okay, that. Okay, were, yeah. you, were you off, off the camera, off at the air, tell me some secrets? I won't say Yeah, that. but cool. there's no, I have good things to say. I only have good things to say about people. Yeah, you say, we say positive things. Yeah, yeah, we're not negative like you. Like you can make it in Princeton, you could make it anywhere. Yeah. And I made it, I guess, in Princeton now because I, I, I was on TV 30. Yeah, and I opened exactly. up with you. Do I get another chance? We have to get, yeah. Do you want to sing again? America. Sure. I want to get Lane in I mean, here, I'm though. not a singer, but oh, I'm patriotic. So I don't let that stop me. God bless America. i got to learn to breathe a little <laughs> more. That I love, stand beside her and guide her. Through the, the light, through the, the light, light from above. Cue cards. Through, through the mountains, through the prairies, through the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America. Quick. Sweet home. home. Oh. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> and that now you know why. Really great. Ms. Thank Liberty, you. Miss Liberty, thank you so much. Miss so so Liberty, are you going to join us later, or do you have to go? Well, and I need my beauty sleep. Okay. Uh, I have to get up in the morning doing a commercial for milk. By the way, I was Miss Tuscan Milk. That's how I got started. I'm going to hide you, though. I'm going to hide in your dress. I want to go where you go. You're A-list. He just wants to get in your dress. And I want to thank you again. He probably wants to get in your dress. Welcome back to Studio... Oh, 